Yes, yes, my people. Big pros at back again with another video. Welcome. You already know what we do here. We talk all things sneakers, kicks, and crepes. Welcome to Kicks Chronicles. Kicks Chronicles is where we take a stroll down memory lane and we look at the sneaker history of some really cool people. We go from what brought them into the game all the way to what's on their current shopping list. Today, my guest is a man about town, you know. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a man in the city, you get me? A sneaker enthusiast, a good friend, Big Shegs, Wagwan, thank you for your time. Hey, big man. What's kicking, my bro? I'm all right, big man. It's happy been a long time coming. <laughs> I'm happy we've been able to put this together now. This whole series is about, you know, it's about cool people, regular people, people that people know, but people that people don't know and need to get to know, you know? So, Shegs, we appreciate you we appreciate your time and let's kick off man the first question i always want to know about is there was a shoe back in mm. the day that really said to you bruv if you get me i'm gonna change your whole life your whole situation is gonna change you're gonna get straight a's you're gonna get a big piece of chicken you're gonna get all the good stuff that you weren't getting before maybe you're gonna get it now you get me mm. big man what was that kick for you what brought you to the game what brought me to the game and i think you know put a stronghold like in my mind that you know what trainers are the ones is the air max ones black gold and red air, air max, max ones one, black gold and red so i think just a bit of background is beforehand you would have caught me with the worst pair of trainers not really the worst pair of trainers but some would say i didn't have too much taste when it came to trainers confession time confession I time I, I, I <laughs> We might, delve, we might delve into more detail la later on, but what's that. happened is that transition, like you know, that little switch in my head, that euphoria moment, was when I saw this Air Maxes. Just walking past, like you know, university student, walking past my local Foot Locker, and all of a sudden I saw this trainers at the window. At the same time, this is where you had the Harachi hype as well. A lot of people were wearing the Harachis, but I thought, you know what? I was like something different. Like, mm. that is the status quo, that is you know, the norm, what people are wearing at the moment. Although we're still going to speak about some classics, but this Air Max ones just stood out to me. The color, Love it. the silhouette, the color combination, the contrast, everything, it just made too much sense not to get it. So knowing it was selling out very quickly, I thought I'll risk it. Put the student loan aside and buy them. Had to risk it. I had, well, to do it, bro. <laughs> I had to risk it, I had to cop it really. A couple drop. It was a cop moment. I had to get cut. There's kicks exactly. to cop with coughing, bro. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And once he got cut, God. It, it, there's no going back from there. Love but that. if it's to make it more interesting is how I got the trainers. There's a bit of drama to it. I to oh, talk to me. Like, talk to me. It wasn't worth it though, but at this moment <laughs> I was getting a lovely lady, you know, being by his side and everything. But what then happened is we had to go to a different seat because I checked my local to grab these trainers, but then they'd run out of my side. So I had to jump to the next seat, which was Leeds to see if they had something. But prior beforehand, because you know, that was the main thing on my mind. That was a lovely day out. It was a, we had to go on a day out, but my primary objective was other than keeping this my lady man. happy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> well, a couple of trainers, killing two birds with one stone. They, real talk. You throw that stone. <laughs> you might bust, <laughs> you might bust you a couple of heads. <laughs> exactly. The first thing I had to hit were the trainers. Real you know, cool. ladies in their very true fashion, got glam up, got to look beautiful and everything. Took a little bit longer than usual. So, you know, missed the first train, missed the second train. And I'm like, yo, kind of need to move quickly. Lo and behold, we get out eventually. You know, big man, you should know. I'm not calling anyone out. But the thing is, we got to the station. <laughs> We got to the station, finally got to Leeds, walked into a Foot Locker where I'd, you know, got some intel that, you know, they might, they might have a size nine. Walked in and they said my size is sold out. I'm a size Aww. nine, by the way. So everyone, everyone that's trying to look out for me in the future, Dude. you can see a particular trainer behind Zach right there. But, you know, we'll talk about it later. Let's <laughs> not, let's not. we got a couple right there as well. But yeah, yeah <laughs> eventually got there. Eventually got there and what happens? They run out of my size. Now, 
I was just being childish. I got really angry. I was oh, very upset, yeah. throwing my toys in the pram. Because I was like, had it been the case that we left earlier, maybe we could have caught that last pair of trainer. Oh, man. But you know what? I just had to do a bit of due diligence. There was a second for Locker Store, not far away. Lo and behold, we saw the trainer. And it's like the heavens opened. God the is light, good. And the light in heaven shone we love me. that. <laughs> but then, I'm happy with my trainers. Exactly my size, everything I wanted. But now there's someone who's unhappy. Yeah. So I had to make amends. But I could guarantee you she was well fed after. So. <laughs> <laughs> you took her up for a you took her out for a slap up meal. Say sorry. It had to be the Nando's. Nando's was the you know, <laughs> ultimate gesture back then. But you know, we we, 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 we bro. No, hundred percent. Hundred percent. The Air Max One is a shoe. If there was ever a shoe to potentially get in a fight over. I could imagine, I couldn't imagine a better shoe, to be honest. You get me? And I'm glad the relationship managed to to to, to stand that test. You get me? But the Air Max one, amazing shoe, real, real cool shoe, bro. No, but again, it's a it's a very simple pair of trainers, right? But what you gotta remember is the Air Max one has got so much history to it. Loved but it. more importantly, that particular colorway it just made too much sense because i was very dull when it came to like you know wearing trainers i didn't have too much of a collection too much mm. rotation so it always had to be black something mm. i could wear with anything blue pair of jeans black pair of jeans even during some period that must have had like you know maroon colored chinos or something but bro we all you know, been there it, bro. it all slapped together it all slapped <laughs> yeah, together, man, yeah, bro. <laughs> it all slapped together. <laughs> bro let me let me ask you a question because obviously you mentioned lees but i'd imagine obviously you're talking about the fact that um you at uni there so like switching switching it over to like when you were growing up in your ends like in your manner so to speak like ah. was there a particular shoe that kind of represented your ends and was kind of popular in your area growing up i always say this but for me it was the reebok classic it just ran mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. ran my ends for some reason so like yeah. for you what was that shoe i'm a person who's grown up growing up in multiple places yeah, yeah so man. Of, of course, just to give people a bit of context, I'm a Ninja boy, Nigerian boy all day. Shout out Nige in the house. <laughs> green, white, green all day. I've got a lot for everyone else, but you know, got got, got, got a rep in motherland. But you know, having come here, grew up in uh, parts of multiple parts of Southeast London, from Deptford, mm. Greenwich, Elephant Castle, basically SE1, SE16. Grew up around there, mm. but it's it's been a lot of trainers has been multiple transitions i'll see have defined all of these places of course nigeria like you know there wasn't too much of a trainer culture if anything it was more so the fashion the traditional yeah. attire yeah you know it. even as young kids we were in school so we didn't wear too much although i had a pair of river classic workout plus i didn't even know what they were i didn't even know they're wow. actual fashion. the black one with the gum sole yes the black one with the gum sole yes the jack. i didn't even know what it was it was like what is workouts this? You were you exactly. are a king, bro. African I king, bro. <laughs> but, wait, but wait, you know what? Yeah, in other day, like at school, I had to polish out the gum sole because they had to be all black. Oh no! Oh, it's like giving a Ferrari key. Like I wouldn't say Ferrari, but it's like giving a whip to someone who can't drive. Oh no! But I think as I've transitioned, I yeah. know, I know, I know. You grew up with the classic with the River Classics, but. What's then happened is over the years, I've then made that transition. Like growing up in Southeast London, most of the trainers I just said, you know, define the ends of the area. And I can't say, I can't narrow it down to one. Mm -hmm. So I might just give you my favorite, the four, which I'll say during that period. Yeah, the Air Force Ones, Low Hot High. Yeah, yeah. Superstar. Yeah, Charles yeah. You know about this. Yeah, yeah, we take that, we take that. Okay, and then, during that period, everyone's either wearing plimsolls or Vans Authentics. So with the Vans, you'd change up the laces and everything. Ah, okay. But then also growing up in Millwall, we all have to give tribute to the Reebok Classics, the football, of course, of you know, course. the football bosses, whatever was just Reebok Classics. Wherever you go, you'd always have the guys like you know people going to football, going to watch Millwall, just have their white Reebok Classics. 100%. It was like the Air Force One, but it's then depending on where you were. Like you know, when I went to sixth form. Mm. Is either you're wearing your Air Max, Air Max 90s, Air Force Ones, Superstars, Vans, or your Reeboks. So, yeah, I think no one trainer could define the ends I'm from, but as five, I'd, I'd say definitely. 
bro. You picked, you picked some fire kicks, bro. And you know what? You went through a nice list there, man, of like some real heavy hitters there, bro. And and, and you know what? Like one sort of rite of passage I always tend to ask my, my guests on the show is you know what? A lot of us when we were growing up, a lot of us when 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 we uh we're younger our parents weren't really focused on 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 kicks it wasn't really the the highest priority in the house you get me obviously keeping us fed and looked after was probably higher on the list but we're thinking about how we look in that so i i i, I tended to and not through any desire of my own have to go through some character building you get me <laughs> And when I talk about character building, I'm talking about a cer certain rascal kicks that I had to put on my feet. <laughs> that that brought me a lot of attention. That got me a lot of heat. Big man mm. Zach was getting dragged left and right in the in the schoolyard, but it's okay because I'm winning today. <laughs> of course. Well, you know what? You know what I'm talking about, bro. I'm talking about I'm talking about them plimsolls, the goalers, the high techs, ball boys. Oh, you get me Dunlops, Mercury's, Avias, Tracks. Bro, talk to me about any particular character building shoe, the shoe that brought you a little bit of that negative attention that you had to go through to get to the promised land. Talk to me. You know what? I wouldn't necessarily say negative attention, but more so along the lines of character building. Now, being a new kid coming around, mom did, mom, like mom's doing the shopping, not knowing too much as you said our focus is on other things like you know go work hard go make a success out of this boy of course today you know god bless you man everything's everything's god beautiful good, and bro. still on the up like you know moving up there but i think the one trainer that i had and i would have to say was the worst and most embarrassing thing i ever had that I, in fact in my head right i knew i was fuming but there's nothing i could do about it and I have to be grateful because you know they've got that saying beggars can't be choosers Real talk. essentially that essentially that's what it was mm. because i had no power to say you know, i had no say it had to be it's not it's not an off-brand but it was the k-swiss trainers i don't i'm wow. not sure they're the from anything now in my head yeah not knowing too much about trainers back then i just saw them with the stripes on the side now i didn't know the adidas ones were just meant to be three stripes now this has got like a five stripes i'm thinking no, they were bad, like 10 stripes <laughs> <laughs> so i'm wearing those in my head thinking this might be the superstars but what you gotta understand is as kids right we're observing we're impressionable like you know what the popular kids weren't although i hung out with them but would have been popular i was always like in the know but never actively out there now the thing is i'd look at the superstars and i'm like that is not what that's not that's not the same so finally that caps right like their case with trainers because i've been confidently wearing them all over six form and everything thinking wow. like you know what this is the is this is the <laughs> this is the deal but eventually you know i had to level up with mumsy one day and just thought you know what mom i really like this trainers i do appreciate your effort but is it possible in the next like you know coming period to just get something maybe with like a swoosh something which is sort of certain yeah. so that's where i then decided you know what walked into the J walked into JD and I remember we got a pair of Nike windbreakers or windrunners windrunners that's the one okay in black black and blue it's, it's just they're so basic they look like they would have looked something like you know the Air Max silhouette or Air Max ones no bubble whatsoever but super comfortable and I remember wearing that into college the Monday after bought them on a Sunday or then the next day, bro, I felt like I was on top of the world. <laughs> I felt good. I felt like I was in. Good but of course, you changed the game, bro. Of course, I had to rock that for a while still. So, you know, you know, mumsies, is it where you grow into it or you wear it till it breaks down to get you next one? Real Because you've only really got one time to say objections to the mumsie <laughs> and I used it very well. <laughs> nah, bro, I love that, man. I think we, it's a rite of passage, as I say, we all go through it. But you kind of alluded to to something just then. And, and, and another thing I, I love to understand, like, what was the first pair of shoes where you were like, you know what, like, I've got my own money, I'm doing my own thing. What, what was the first pair of shoes that you were like, you know what, this is this is me now. Like, Mumsy, thank you for all that you've done. God bless you, but this is me now. I'm taking over. What was that first pair of shoes? First pair of shoes 
when I knew that I had money and I could start buying and doing my own, making my own flex or making my own decisions, I would say with the Air Force Twos. So the rationale behind it is more so. Is more so. I mentioned most of the trainers around me, so most people had the superstars, the Air Force Ones, you know, the Vans Authentics. Those are the popular shoes then, but they're just something where I like being different. Mm. I don't like fitting into the norm. But if I like something different, I would rock it. And most people know if I like something or if I like a silhouette, right? I would of indulge in it. So I, I walked into I walked into my local JD and I saw a pair of black uh, Air Force Twos, the low ones. I think it was around 2010. So I got that pair and I just thought, you know what? They look amazing. Though they're not the Air Force Ones, mm-hmm. but still within that same family. But then the technology, a lot of people didn't appreciate it. Like you know, in the yeah. in the core of popular like. Of like you know public opinions, it just didn't slap. But to me, nah. it was amazing. So then I got about two, three pairs of those, and then I even have taken the next level up and started buying the high top ones. The high top <laughs> ones look like a unit. They look like a unit. <laughs> they, they're just a unit. They're like you know a lot of people struggle with wearing like you know Air Force One mids or high tops, but the Air Force Two mids, Christ, that was a thing. But Again, it's all about it's all in the spirit of standing up being different, not fitting into the norm because you know we're here to stand out. Can't just here to stand out, to. man. We appreciate it, man. The Air Force Two is no joke. That is not a very popular shoe. It is it's definitely not on most people's <laughs> list. You are definitely certifiably the first person to even mention it on Kit Chronicles, man. But this is why I love this show. Cause we're going back. We went all the way back and we brought back an Air Force Two. You get me? Like, so this is what I love to see, man. Thank you, Shegs, for bringing that back into the minds of people. Cause it happened, people. We can't deny it. It happened. We all had trainers we never, like, you know, were never popular. But at the same time, you know, that's what makes us different, right? You get me, you get me. Marmite. <laughs> you, you love me. That's it, that's it. Have you ever bought a pair of shoes where you were like, you know what? I know everyone hates this, but I love it. So I don't care. I'm getting these kicks. Nah, I wouldn't say everyone hates it, but a select few within my circle hates mm. it. And I bet when people are watching this, you know who you are, my brother, MJ. <laughs> Shout out, MJ. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be the Yeezy 500 Subvision. Okay. The Ooh, Yeezy 500. Okay. Yeah, so this lovely. Love that. Love that. You see that right there? So it's got a bit of like a purple, lavender. Nice, yeah. Nice. Feel to it. Yeah. Now, although it's got the gum sole, you see, that's a bit of a contrast. Shout out part. the gum sole, like that. I've been, I've been giving a lot of slack for these trainers, but I just feel they're beautiful tra- pair of trainers. I think they because are. Because when, they they cool. when the 500 first came out, they called them the rat shoes. So that's the, that was the dis. However, <laughs> this was it 2008, it's 2019, I grabbed them. Not popular with a lot of people, but I'll drop this. This is my summer shoe. We're going. Bro, I hope everyone can see that clearly. That's yeah, no, that, that. Thank you very much for sharing it on screen and and to buttress your point, and I I use the word buttress correctly because I we use big words on Kids Chronicles, right? <laughs> we like we like to use that grammar. <laughs> but, <laughs> soft visions, yeah. History time. Soft visions were the first Yeezy I ever purchased. Yeah. Real talk. Some visions were the first shoes I ever purchased. It was not a shoe that I was planning to to, to buy, right? But the the online drop came on on the Adidas app, and I'd never done a drop before on Adidas. Oh, yeah, so I was like, old. exactly the older drop. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I know the 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 static blacks are coming out in November. Right, and I think the, the I think the soft visions came out maybe in October or maybe late September. I was like, and this is 2019, as you were saying. So I was so like, no, like, into Black Friday for the time. exactly, yeah. exactly. It was all around that time. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know how it runs with all of these like drops and stuff. I said I'm gonna give it a go, and I came in and I got them, tried them on. I was like, these are flames. But my missus was like, bruv, are you walking around with pink shoes? And then I said, all right, 
All right, calm down. Yeah, let, the fr- let the first easy be black. You get me? Let it calm down. But these are fire. No, nah, this is fire because I remember the day I picked them up as well. So I think Adidas had just opened their new store in Oxford Street. So they used to have one before, but moved to one close, had to open another one close to Selfridges. So I remember that day walking into the new store, very amazing. Uh, picking this up it was a long queue because back in the day did you pick yours up from Adidas or no nah, no nah, they sent it in I just sent yours in oh you must have been part of the lucky few so for me right when it comes to Adidas raffles is it you're going to Carnaby Street mm. uh, uh, Canby um, Canby Street down uh, Shoreditch yeah or yeah. the new Adidas store so I had to go to the new Adidas store down uh, Bond Street and this is why I picked that's why I picked this up so you had till 11 o'clock to go pick up your trainers and if you didn't pick up by 11 there's a queue of people on the side ready to cop this because guess what once they get hold of it resale value stupid and to be honest the resale value has maintained like every so that's that's, that's why i still hold on to it till this day exactly i really respect you for that i really respect you for that but this is still held as value it has. and what one of the sad things about it is the day i was going to pick up because i was trying to meet that 11 o'clock thing is I got an Uber and I lost my AirPods in there. It was a day when England were playing the Rugby World Cup. Oh, okay. And they, I think they won. Did they win? Did England win? I don't think they won the World. Did they win the World Cup? Anyway, people let, shout, let, 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 shout let, in the comments, bro. In the comments, yeah, tell let, us let, in let, the comments. Let, let, <laughs> but my memory's all fuzzy. But the day this got released, like most trainers, right, they just take me through, like you know where I was, what happened. So there's a bit of bittersweet to it, though I still get slapped with the colorway. Is I lost my AirPods that day in a cat. Yes. But I think England must have won. One. But yeah, we move, we move. We move. They won the we cricket. They, went, they won the cricket after, though. Uh, yeah, I know they definitely won the cricket World Cup, man. And you get me, and that's as much as I know about cricket and rugby. So shout out cricket and rugby. Like <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask because obviously. I asked you, like, what was the first kick you ever got? But, like, you know, I know you're a shoe guy. I can see from what's behind you. We've spoken in the past, yeah. I'm interested in the mindset of a, of a shoe enthusiast. And when it and, and in a specific area, and I'll elaborate, like, I asked the question, how do you drop your shoes? As in, how long does it take before you cop a pair of shoes to when they get on your feet? What is that process in your mind? Do they sit on the bench for a little while? You get me? Do they get acclimatized to the club? Or are they starting straight up front? You get me? Go on, bag me a hat trick, big man. What are they doing, bro? Tell me how you do it. It depends on the trainers, big man. It's See, absolutely depends on ones. So I think that tears to this thing, that tears. It's not just the price point, but it's what they mean to you. So I'm thinking if it's something like an Air Force One, you're coming out in the summer ASAP. Mm. If you're, I don't know, anything else, like, you know, Air Maxes, definitely. But when it comes to the Yeezys or, like, you know, the Jordans or some of the Puma Elite, like, you know, some of the exclusive drops, I let them sit on the ice for a bit. Because what I try to avoid is hopping into the same place and seeing a fold of people, like, a, a, a bunch of people wearing the same thing. Yeah. It happens with a lot of designer. It happens with a lot of designer trainers where you go to certain events and you see a lot of people wearing the same thing. I'm not too fast, but I'd rather just avoid it. You see, of course. So I think, but breaking the rule with my Yeezys is, you see, when this bad boys got restuck, Ooh. they came out immediately. They got warm. <laughs> I rocked those immediately as well. They could not hold. I can't hold on to them, man. The fire was too hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I had to start wearing this, like the 500 utility. Oh, fire immediately shit. once they came out, I had to start wearing them. This part of my current rotation. But Love they're so shit. nice. I had to get them twice. The utility blacks, yeah, 500. <laughs> yeah, hard shoe. Now I know I'm going. I'm going to wear this to the ground. I've got another pair of ice. Ah, oh, bro, you're killing me. Pen. I got another pair and I so you know that's how, that's how that's how it goes at the moment. You so, play differently, bro. That's not fair. That's not, not fair, it's, Shex. It's, it's the sentiment behind it, you see. Oh my they're, days. They're, they're, they're pair of trainers I've been longing to have for ages. And <sighs> when I was hoping that, you know what? Because Yeezy, like even like the whole Yeezy drop right around Black Friday has just been amazing. So mm. I know you've given a review on the statics, right? Mm. When this came out, I was not in the country. 
and when I, I was thinking like that was last that was a uh, 2019 I was on holiday and I was hoping and I was praying you know what 2020 something nice better drop mm. because I'm hurting right now <laughs> I'm hurting and I was talking to my boy MJ again MJ shout out you shout out my MJ biggest, my, my biggest hater but you know <laughs> we'll, we'll shout out you <laughs> and literally, I was, we're talking, and I hope I could get maybe a screenshot to support this. Is shows timestamp, and I was like, you know what, Black Friday, hopefully they release this uh, 500 utilities. Lo and behold, they came out, and big man, that's cut in touch. Bro, no, you smashed it, bro. Slap bit of jealousy, green eyed monster, and all that, bro. Can't Wait, believe you got a goal. Jealousy. Let's not talk about jealousy because I know some of the gems you have, big man. Oh, well, come on, bro. Big. See, this is this is the nature of a sneaker guy, bro. <laughs> like you might have bare heat behind you, but as soon as someone says they got what they got something that you wanted that you did it, and you're like, oh, I wish I got it as well. Do you know what? You're right, bro. You've got the gym man mentality. It's just like, oh, nice, nice, nice build, bro. I won't be like you, innit? No, you don't want to be like me. You're good already. You're good already. <laughs> You're just chatting, bro. I know you. I see you. You're good already. You're good already. <laughs> I hear that, man. We all know them gym man like that, bro. Okay. Okay. I rate you, man. From the soft visions to the utility blacks, man. That's a hard shoe, man. That's a hard shoe. Oh. I want to bring it more into the modern day and I want to ask you a, a set of questions called the EST okay I see when I say EST I mean the est and when I say est I'm talking the oldest newest rarest expensivest dopest newest ooh, best ooh, ooh, ooh. all of that good stuff yeah so we're gonna I'm gonna rattle off a few of these yeah you let me know yeah where where you are on these and we can yeah we can talk about these if you want to talk about if you want to elaborate on something you can if you want to just keep Keep it short and sweet you can do it's all completely up to you so let's start right from the beginning once again what is the uh, oldest pair of kicks you currently own this is going to be the same answer as the first question i answered ah the t-shirts right wow he still got them, you know them, them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. uh, hello to my good friends but um yeah this is a 2012 release but i think some of the oldest pair of trainers which i also own are my Ar arachi utilities now remember to think about me being different so when something gets released and there's like a variation like a v2 or something i always try to uh ride that as well so the arachi utilities uh, which i currently got here Fire. one of my older pair of trainers got them in you know a couple of colorways oh wow but I, I bet there are people who had this yeah no this, that, they were popular shoes it makes a lot of sense and, they and it, they're still holding till this day yeah, and the thing i like about the utility is um it just it just was only for like you know the orachis they also had the utility mx 90s utility mx uh 95s where you had like the little soft bit but more so the grip underneath this did get a good wear like you know during the winter but this is some of my oldest pair of trainers i'd say so yeah nice, the, nice. The, the 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 risk the relationship the different <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it we're doing it what's your newest pair bro my newest pair of trainers so thanks to sneaker for not cooperating and giving me most of the trainers on one but more importantly i'd like to say no thank you to adidas for not giving me the you the, the yeezy 700 sun you know bro. what a lot of outlandish and very wild but the last pair of trainers i bought were the Easy 350 bread. I know you did a review on them. Ah, but okay. If, just for context, again, this is a, like my last buy because uh, again, I'm trying to be more responsible with my purchases. But certain certain trainers again get exemptions, so yes, exactly. I'm trying to cut down my monthly purchase. But I think this was my <laughs> last buy. Although the zebras came out shortly after, but the zebras are classics. You see, classic. I was going. To, I, was, I was going to try. I was going to try matching it with. Cause I'm a Man United fan, guys. Remember that. Please don't hate me. <laughs> it goes well with my Man United colours. But you see the zebra print, the Z, uh, the 350 zebras would have gone very well with my third uh, 13 kit with the wow. black white. Oh, so, yeah, yes, I, uh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> That's from last season. That that crazy. Now this season. This season. This it's season. this season. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's this season. That crazy, like black and white, jagged 
mess yeah. that they're wearing, bro. But yeah, United, bro. Who cares about United, man? I wear, I wear my IG and I did. Who do you support again? <laughs> oh, no. Nah, let's not talk about football, bro. No, no. Yeah. It, I think it's everybody we know. Give the yeah, people this is about you, Shex. Don't try to turn it back on me. Don't try to turn it. No, 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 no. Never that. 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 No, no, did no. Just, did you recently fire your manager, Lampard? No, 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 no. Why are you trying to find out, bro? I need to keep some things for me. The first of elimination. If we've got time, I've got eighteen other teams to ask. No, no. Let's do. I need to ask you questions, bro. <laughs> what is the rarest kicks that you currently own? Uh, the rarest kicks that I own. It might not be the most expensive, but I think it's more so sentimental value for me. And when they did come out mm. um, with the Air Max One Ultra Camo. So the story behind this is like literally it got released almost everywhere. Even Foot Asylum had it in like 2015, but I just couldn't grab a pair. But one of my boys, Jamil, that's my boy right there. See this right the there? Ultra. The, the Ultra. So the thing about the Ultra is, although it's still got the Air Max bubble and everything, mm. it's, it's made out of sort of plastic material. But it's yeah, very it's a light. bit more of a light, light, yeah. lightweight material. Yeah. Sorry, you, you might see my shoe tree. This is uh sneak ahead problems right here we always no, need no, to you're doing it you're doing it you're doing it <laughs> you always need to hold the mold but yeah literally this trainer right and uh the just because i couldn't get any I, I couldn't get like literally my size again size nine in the uk because there's some most of the popular there's some uh, yeah. popular sizes so my man literally brought them all the way from Dorban, south africa wow all the way through so that's all the way from them. africa Big ups, big ups the motherland. But yes, my boy Shout had to bring out. them through. Um, although he had to throw away the box because I'm very particular about my boxes, as you can see in the background. Oh, my days. My boxes and everything. But um, this, it, it, it was more so like, you know, the journey you had to go through and how we had to come. Of course, most of our trainers, like, you know, come from different parts of the world, but it's known that someone made the effort, like, you know, to bring me this back to, back to my enjoyment. And, you know, there's a bit of, you know, even controversial story around this as well is the first day I wore this one of my lovely little friends when she's watching this she would know herself as well she stepped on these trainers wow and this to the trainers I'll say that I've almost switched on someone for because I'm not I'm not the one to like you know kick a fuss about people stepping on my you can step on a white pair of trainers for like here I've got I've got you know backups and backups but um it was because of where I was going to and my little friend uh <laughs> no name's mentioned, but she knows herself. Oh, and when I showed this video, she knows herself. Uh, she stepped in it. She is the most kind-hearted, beautiful, innocent person. Love in fact, you me. know what? There's some trainers that I've got in my collection. She was my plug, but she stepped in these trainers and looked me in the eyes while she d- did it. Wow! The beast came out, but you know, <laughs> MX1 camos, defo. For other people, it might be like you know the the um air jordan one Dior's or whatever the case is but for me it's just this very sim- simple training and how far it's had to come to get into my position. to be honest i'm being real honest with you never seen that trainer before know the silhouette but i've never seen that trainer before so when you talk about <laughs> rarest the- <laughs> yeah but when you talk about a rare shoe that's pretty rare to me now switching it up let's talk about expensivest what are your most expensive shoes that you currently own yeah so the thing about me is uh i'm more so into the sports brands but not till too long ago a lot of people would be into the valentinos and all of that so i've just decided to keep it as simple as possible because i also need to rush it like you know justify some of my spend so i've got the um balenciaga speed so you know, love that want, that's a great shoe what, what that look like so, <laughs> the speed runner man the balenciaga speed runner is a fire shoe so I, yeah, i'm not speed. surprised um and then i've got a, a lovely pair of uh alexander mcqueen's though people call them platform shoes but still, <laughs> so you know when i mentioned like you might you might go out and see people wearing the same pair of trainers but the ones i got are the black uh the base color is black the soles was white and a bit of white as well. So anything which is just black and white. Both trainers are black and white, by the way. At the moment, I think uh, the Balenciaga and uh, Alexander McQueen's are the one. Although, Shut of course, up. the collection's going to grow in the future, but I think right now, we're, we're easy, Jordan, brother. Ah, it's easy, bro. It's easy. Talk to me about the cheapest pair that you currently own. Uh, cheapest pair of trainers right now as part of the rotation. Of course, like, you know, my I had some serious bangers back in the day, but it's got to be the bands. The bands are... Uh, 
old schools. Just that oh, new, yeah. simple, simple, simple white right, moving aside or the high tops, which is the, the skate highs. In fact, you know what? The skate highs they're very comfortable because I go into I go to the gym very flat. I, it helps with my deadlifts as well. So big move. Yeah, all you so. gym, all you gymmers out there, man, you need flat. You need a flat base. You need a flat base <laughs> for your for your deadlifts and your and, and your squat. When you're doing your leg day. Make sure you got a flat base. You know, PSA, PSA. Do not skip leg day, guys. Do not skip. <laughs> 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 Alright bro Talk to me yeah, About the dopest Colourway That you've had bro Any Ooh. shoe mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Dopest colourway Has got to be two Because you know A parent can't really look, a, a parent can't really Have a favourite kid You see Of course bro No well, favourites I, I, I love all I, I, I appreciate all my trainers Love is a bit of a strong word But It's got to be Oh the waves the wave runners and the other kid the nurses the nurses this two. we're talking the 700s easy 700s <laughs> wave runner <laughs> and inertia the dopest color like literally what you need to understand about me is prior to now if you saw like prior to I'll, I'll say 2016 most of my trainers are just black but it's something that really stood out about this wave runners when they came out in 2017 the first release in 2017 i saw them and i thought you know what i'll just try an app so similar to how you tried for uh, the sub visions i tried getting them and this was actually my first win on the adidas app for the bro this is actually uh, my first win. that is such an awesome win you know that's like that is a <laughs> retro that is a classic shoe bro that's a classic nah, easy this is this is going nowhere so but when i also started getting into it um got this ones got the inertias I think maybe the light's too bright or something, but this right here, I, w I wouldn't lie, you know, I, I don't fish for compliments, but whenever I get a compliment, <laughs> I do appreciate it, you see. So it always comes when I whenever I wear these two trainers. So, uh, yeah, this is my favourite colourways at the moment. Although there are other colours, uh, other trainers that I'm really into, but I think in terms of practicality, something I could wear and not worry too much about, regardless of what it is, it's two. Love the that. The wave runners, the OGs right here. Bring out more because if we had a we need, we need a re-release of those, you know. I ain't even joking. Adidas, if you're watching, yeah, right? Because you know Adidas watches my stuff, right? Adidas, you know <laughs> bring, bring, retro the retro the wave runners, you know, because I didn't cut them the first time. I was out the loop. I need them in my collection, yeah. Don't let Shegs have that over me, please. Yeah, I uh, need them ones. Again, this is back to the whole thing. I won't be like you, Ben, man. You Shag, go Shag, is you, too much. It's too you know much. Got, you know you've got gems. <laughs> it's too much. All right, bro. Talk to me, yeah? If you're just running out the house, yeah? Like, mm -hmm. just quick quick book to the shops, yeah? What are the shoes you're, you're, you're drawing for? Yeah, all day. All day. Just for, just for the audio. Yeah. Soft the vision. Easy no, sorry. Utility. I almost said soft vision. Yeah, it's the utility blacks on the five hundred. Utility black. Utility black. Literally, this is just like you know one of the most comfortable trainers Very. that is out there. Although Very. it doesn't have the, it doesn't have uh, the the boost in it. Mm. I love the ultra boost. By the way, the, I did this ultra boost. I think I got a pair around here. Sorry, Shout out ultra but, boost. Um, actually, you know what? I got a pair right here. Yeah, the Ultra Boost. Bro, I'm at you. Hey. <laughs> bro, that that's so sick. That was not bro, planned. Bro. That was not bro. planned. Bro. <laughs> so sick. Up, <laughs> one take, it's like a freestyle right now. That was so sick. I can't believe it, bro. It's the same one <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah, so this train is literally very comfortable. You can even see how. Yeah, they, I've worn them around, but I don't, I'm not too fast. I'm not big. I'm not a fat Joe, like you know, licking the bottom of his trainers or anything. Like I wear that. my trainers, not trying to shout big man in any way. But at the same time, it's just uh, this is very comfortable, uh, aesthetically sound, visually pleasing, exactly. and just all around goes with everything. So if I was just going like you know, hop out to the shop, do anything, 
important aspects of being a sneaker guy is obviously trying to cop these kicks man and you know how i feel about copying kicks man sometimes i feel like it's needlessly complicated it's a bit difficult you get me when you're talking sneakers app and online drops and, re and raffles and all retail drops and all of these different Robot. things yeah and 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 needless to say the bots that are killing the game for us manual man out here shout out the smart kids out there yeah man live your life man but leave a little small thing for us man out here bro that are trying to do it in the original like way <laughs> <laughs> but bro bro talk to me yeah, about your hardest cop so far hardest pair of trainers to get so again like you know just going off the back of what you said initially is you know a lot of these applications are not been nice to us okay sneakers for one is just it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> literally um adidas i think i've been on we've been doing well we've been doing well with adidas but i think one of the hardest pair of trainers which i'll say on the release day i had to have like you know two three different devices there was most of the hype behind it as well because it is a yeezy it is a hmm. yeezy but the first version of it that got released there's so much hype behind it so, so the yeezy so. 700 v3 alva oh it's the yeezy 700 v3 um alva but the one before that was the azale mm. and now the big hype and the big promotion around it is Kanye is a smart guy. He gifted them to DJ Khaled in front of the private jet. So obviously, he took it off his feet, gave it to uh, gave it to uh, DJ Khaled. Of course, we know DJ Khaled is a, a Jordan brand uh, ambassador. Ambassador. But you know, there's still the hype behind it, where you know you got to sort out your contracts. You can still wear certain things, but we know Jordan doesn't take too kindly to people wearing other brands. But again there was a hype behind it but when i got these trainers there's just something simple but so beautiful about them it's they've not got the they have not got the booster uh, technology behind it like you've got the 700s here you can see like you know big transition mm. like even the 700 v2 but it's really hard to get this one because i was up for hours i was in the waiting list i was in the waiting queue for about two and a half hours on a Saturday morning when I could be exercising or doing something. But I think during lockdown as well, it was so worth my while. And when this trainer is like, and I did have to really quick with delivery, but when I set my eyes on them, because there's something about me when I get, when I see a pair of trainers online, it could be the lighting, it could be, you don't know what the material looks like, but when you get 100%. them in hand, when you get them in hand, you're like, okay, that I'm makes exactly sense. The same. I'm exactly the same. But I think when I finally got them in hand, I was like, this is definitely worth the wait. It was worth the wait. So the exoskeleton look, the glow in the dark, like, you know, exterior, you know, the reflective patches on the outside, you know, just the general silhouette in itself. And, you know, the suck fit, it doesn't have a tongue in any way, but mm -hmm. I know the newer ones now come with the infinity laces as well, but um, I know you've got the clay, uh, the clay browns. But um, yeah, this Alvers, <sighs> if anyone's want, you want to get them off me, you gotta drop some keys, my friend. Bro, like no, the Alvers, I, I personally think the Alvers, um, and you said the Azales as well, they're, they're the best two um, 700 V3s that have come out. I think a lot of the, the other colorways have, have really been hit and miss. Even even the Clay Browns. I've reviewed the Clay Browns, I've reviewed the um, yeah. the Safflowers. Yeah. And to well, me- The Safflowers are right. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like I was just like, no, but like the, the, Azarek, bro, bro that you know what I'm saying like that the black the, the 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 pair that you've got the black pair and the white pair are fire and the thing is it is a comfortable shoe even though it doesn't have boost in it and obviously for people out there that don't like this the v3 700 it don't have boost in it but it is still a comfortable shoe to wear like it is it does have a nice feel to it in the right colorway that you can do bits so yeah i'm definitely uh if there is a restock of of the of, of the black and the white pair man i'm on it man but the pair that you've got man Bro, it's again, man, a little bit, but don't let, don't start, because I know you start chatting, bro. Don't start talking, bro. You know, you know, you, you know, you're a G, you're own right, you're no G, so let's not I'll play this game. Let's, <laughs> let's not, for real, let's not play this game, bro. Let's not play this game. <laughs> talk about, talk to me, yeah, right? Talk to me, yeah, about your grail, like the shoe that you like you're trying to cop. If there ever is a way you can get it, you're trying to get it. <laughs> I say this with a heavy heart and with tears in my eyes, which I shall not show anyone today. <laughs> um, 
in terms of my grill, like literally a pair of trainers which has to make it to the collection. You can see like I got some Jordans back here, but mm. it had to be and you know, twenty twenty in as much as it's been like in you know, a very difficult year all round for most people, like you know, just the general economic state and everything. The world of trainers, sneakers and everything has been amazing. We had yeah. like, you know, some solid, beautiful drops during this year uh, during twenty twenty. Real talk. Real talk. Now, with that being said, the one I'll say I want in my grill has to be the off-white Jordan 4 sale. It was a, it's a women's trainer. Bro, it women. don't matter. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Everyone is wearing it. Bro, I've seen more men wearing that kick than even women. So the, exactly. the that's the realest right there, bro. I think, I, think, I think Virgil's done a great job, like, you know, because Amazing prior shit. to now, prior to the last, like, you know, four or five years, I think even the trainer, like, you know, the world of trainers has just been catered towards men because they believe, like, you know, there's some people because, yeah, trainers are for men, heels are for women, but they're female enthusiasts, enthusiasts out there. Of course. They're, like, you know, not trying to plug anyone, but there's this lady called uh, Shalina, if you know who she is. No, no, I've not heard of her. Shalina, look her up, like, literally, she is, I think she's German, she's German, whatever, but her trainer collection is stupid. The Air Force is the Air Jordan ones to the high brand everything is just gems everywhere. So I think with the Air Jordan, the Air Jordan Four Off Whites coming through, although it's like you know K towards women, but then still available in all sizes. It's just been one of those beautiful things. I remember the morning when he dropped, I overslept. So it's one of those. It's one of those where you set a reminder the sneakers app to remind you 15 minutes before you're awake at eight at like seven forty five. Real and then you're like, oh, let me snooze. Oh. And like eight ten. Oh, yeah. that's so just the cut off. Eight ten is too much. If it was eight or five, you might have caught it. But it's eight ten is too. I don't think it was any closer to the cut off time. But that's what you got to remember is some of these trainers, even on the app, right? So in milliseconds, hundred. They sell out. Like, they sell out like milliseconds. So, and you know, you told me about your, you know, your mucker cup right there. You see the mocha cup right there. When you told me about what you had to go through, I was like, stress, <sighs> stress. You know, not everyone, not everyone gets it. Not everyone gets a second chance. But for real, the yeah. second bite of the cherry is not a real thing, bro. It, it happened to me, <laughs> but I think God was involved. If I'm being honest, <laughs> yeah, but literally, I, I just that is one pair of trainers. Yeah, the retail, the re, the um, retail value was amazing, affordable. Oh. But look at the stuff. Look, look at the oh. secondary. Ah, oh. it's not even about it's not even about the secondary market value. It's just what he then bottom of that trainer, just the edge old and poor silhouette. Like the silhouette is just, the lack of better words to use, it's just sexy. Bro, it's a hot shoe, bro. Sexy. That is an amazing shoe, bro. Like it's so simple, and yeah. Fashion out there, pinky cakey. She is killing it. Don't worry, we'll speak about as people. The kids are watching this now about pinky cakey. She kills it with trainers. <laughs> But bro, like you mentioned, obviously we talked about copying kicks. A question that, you know, I haven't asked many of my guests so far, but I feel like I have to ask you. And I call this question, the Matthew Welty. And anybody that's ever watched a shout out, full size run, that's complex. You get me? Yeah. I'm saying massive show in America on YouTube, yeah, like, like one of my biggest influences, yeah. Matthew Welty is one of the cornerstones of that program with Trendy Dad James, yeah. Brandon Dunn. You get me? Big shout outs to them, man. But he asked a question, and I've got to ask you that question. You get me? So, big man shakes. <laughs> Have you ever resold sneakers? 100. 100. 100. I'm not a celeb in any right or any shape or form yeah i'm a big deal in my in, in my households but otherwise, <laughs> you know, now i don't get like a few trainers flocking into my door because i need to go out my way to buy my day-to-day -day job has nothing to do with this to me this is a hobby this is something i'm enthusiastic about so you know every opportunity i get even the wave runners right when on the second release i got another pair but i'm thinking why should i wear that in that moment, it didn't seem right to have two. But, you know, got rid of the other one. Got one of my favorite pairs, one of my, um, some trainers which I think I like and still regret having resold in StockX. StockX love me, by the way. 
is uh, <laughs> the, uh, the pure, uh, the Air Jordan Four pure money. Pure money. It's, it's just simple. It's white, got a bit of silver in the side. Like literally, the pure money is like the opposite of pure money would be the Air Jordan Four black cats. Yes. I've got those. Yes. That's sexy. It's just simple all black, similar similar to the pure money or mm-hmm. white. But yeah, simple way of answering your question. Yeah, I do. I, I've sold sneakers in the past or trainers in the past, but you know, if there's an opportunity out there, like you know, why not? Because look at the kids out here, man. They're all smart. They're they're making money. They're making a business out of this. They're making a business out of this. But of course, like you know, God is like you know, God has been very like you know, graceful great graceful to us whereby we're in a position to like you know earn without having to do too much or make this our primary source but at the same time like you know wherever there's an opportunity take a take advantage of it really of course man. so yeah big up snacks pick up uh go deep <laughs> up all those places and yeah please plug um look after big uh big prozac thank yeah. you very much man all right all right you're cast away on a desert island. Yeah. Right. You don't know how you got there, but for some reason, you got two pair of kicks with you, right? This question is called Desert Island Kicks. What two pair of kicks are with you on that island and why, big man? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. It would have to be any pair of oh, Desert Island. It's got to be any pair of Easy 350s P2 Literally anyone With a with a back tag <laughs> With a dead guy on Anyone oh, okay. oh, bro. Anyone Literally I need comfort Hundreds I need something which is breathable Hundreds okay. Now For the second pair It's got to be the 500s again. Now, I was going to go with a pair of trainers, right? Which would be like a sock fit, which would stop. Like, you know, it's a desert island, right? But I need comfort. 100. But the thing about these 500s is the dirtier they get, it builds character. It starts becoming more beautiful. Love that. And it's swaggy all the way through. Stay swaggy. Stay swaggy. So basically, these trainers right here, yeah, I think this has answered a lot of questions. Like, I think <laughs> two eyes and ears right now would figure out that Shegs is on that 500. He's on that 500 <laughs> utility, big man. Maybe <laughs> patient, but yeah, there's an island. Depends on where we are. It's very sandy. I'll put in the 500 because this is the rat shoes, the 500, um, the easy 500s of like, you know, built for, you know, uncertain territory. But then it was somewhere where I had to be, like, you know, without too much sand or anything something breathable something comfortable to walk in it's going to be the um 350. all right you can co- you can collab on any silhouette Mm-mm-mm. any silhouette that's ever been right this question is called biggie duets biggie duets <laughs> this is the collabo question you get me <laughs> all the collabs you get me you can collab on any silhouette what silhouette are you picking and why well that's a difficult question big man because he says silhouette right but uh, it's gonna be hard i could i could tell your brand i want to collaborate with go on talk to me if that's a if that's a cop out answer <laughs> um, it, it would have to be a jordan it would have to be jordans i hear that, I hear jordans, that. but specifically and if we could go in the list or that I've got like, you know, right here, the Jordan 1s. Start with the 1s. The 4s. 4s. 6s. 11s. I know you like your 11 bread. I've got a pair back here next to the Concords. I, uh, spa- I even got the Space Jams right behind me uh, there. You are doing a lot. You are doing a lot. But, 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 but if I had to do a duet, right, it would have to be with either one of them. But I think in, th- in terms of like, you know, the collaboration, would have to show more so the origins. It has to pay homage to where I'm from. So the motherland has to show like, you know, the, the motherland in, to some degree. Because I know Yanis, the NBA player. Exactly. He's got the, got the Nigerian thing going. 
Although I've Zoom got a pair, I've got a pair of Air, um, Air Force One Ninja, like you know the new Nigerian kit just come out. Yeah. So I think those trainers, right, would have either been the other answer if I didn't bring out the 500 uh, subdivisions. But it's got to show, it's got to pay homage to the origins and where I'm from. Love that. But more so, like, you know, highlight family as well, like you know, coming from humble beginnings and mm. it just has to. It, it, it would have to be like you know have you seen the similar to the uh is it the jordan ah uh, is it 10 where it's got writings underneath of all of his yes pages. of all the the oh the, uh, yeah no i hear you i hear yeah, so you i hear you here's the 10 something writing like you know something scripted in there and people like you know getting a message out of it in terms of colors of course it's got to have a bit of green in it but then you know you know, something about Mumsy as well, maybe a Bible scripture. It's Love such, that. Love but that. But it's just my values, family, homage to my origins, really. And yeah, that's that's what it's got to be. Not that's that amazing. Of who I am, a proper embodiment of uh, you know, the values I also stand for. That's an amazing answer, bro. That is an amazing answer. Um, I think, you know what we're going to do now, yeah? We're going to do some quick fire questions right <laughs> you get me like we're gonna go quick we're gonna go hard we're gonna go fast shags now right i need you to answer with your chest yeah no dilly dally yeah we don't play that game around here hey, excuse me sir just a quick question is it, is it gonna be multiple is it is there gonna be like options to pick from you just, know it just, the thing is yeah you will know what to say you put my back against the rope and it's just like, you know... I'm going to hit you real hard, <laughs> You're going to know what to say. But, right, I'm not going to be tiring you, but I don't want no long answers, bro. I need it to be... I need it to be straight from the chest. That's, that's, what, that's what I come with. I come with diplomacy. Bro, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we are kicking off these quick fire, hot fire questions in three two one starting with the big one nike or adidas jump on, jump on, jump on. Uh -huh, i think i need some rubber dusting <laughs> 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 jordan big man it's, it's too much history it's too much history so you're um, going with nike yeah I, i'll go i'll go i'll go go with like you know what Kanye's done amazing amazingly well especially with the adidas collaboration even to that sounds like you're dilly dallying bro what are you saying bro nike yeah say it with your chest Shed. say it with your chest nike air nike <laughs> okay can you wear nike and adidas together yes or no nah fashion for four I'd never do that if i see you doing that <laughs> what is your favorite non Nike slash Adidas brand? Carhartt. Love that. Carhartt. Shout out, shout out really, Carhartt. Yeah. Shout really out Carhartt. To, like if I wasn't going to be supporting the the, the boys uh, brand Schizo. Yeah, Schizo man. Worldwide shout IG. out Schizo. Literally, it would have to be Carhartt from the hat, or it has to be North Face. People know me, North Face Carhartt. That's it. <laughs> nah, you're dilly dallying again, bro. It's okay. It's okay. Too much explanation. Okay. Next question. Yeah. Favorite Adidas model? Superstar. Love that. Favorite Nike model? Classic Air Force Good One. one. Gotta roll with the bad boys. What is your Jordan number? Six. Love the six. Boost or react? Is that the Nike uh, react? Yeah. So either the boost technology or react technology. Which is the one you're taking? Boost. Got to keep it loyal with the boost. Love that. Vans or Converse? Oh, Vans all day. Vans all day. Laces, laces or slip-ons? I don't mind laces. Let's go to laces. Are you doing factory laces or are you doing patterns with your laces? I used to work in a shoe store so I could do my patterns. Hey, socks or barefoot? Depends where I am. <laughs> socks, I suppose. 
Comfort or style? Comfort all day. Comfort all day. Comfort. Fresh and clean or beaten and battered? Fresh and clean all day, big man. Look at all of this. <laughs> Washing machine or hand wash? Hand wash, big up Scrap Protect. <laughs> Shout out to Protect. A lot of people taking L's, putting their trainers in washing machines. Don't ever They're do it, people. Don't it. ever do it. Old people, where you put in the washing machine? Lows or highs? <laughs> the dilly dally am I coming? This one, big man. <laughs> you know what? Let, let's go low. Summer's coming. Let's go low. And the final quick fire question Triple blacks. Or white on whites. <laughs> How have I spent most of this interview bigging up the 500 utility? But now my answer is going to be triple whites because guess what? Something might not know where we're going to do, but guess what? The whites have got to be done. But yeah, um, I think safe option. But again, we, ju- we just got to do another plug for the. Guys, appreciate this one. Yeah. We appreciate Likes. them. We appreciate we appreciate the utilities, but yeah, he's gone with the white on whites. And you know what? The quick fire questions are done now. Just the last couple questions for myself. And I just want you to share this with the people. What does it mean? The term sneak ahead. What does that actually mean to to you? What does it mean to Shex? I think for someone to be called a sneak ahead, I think you must, you must have done a bit of time to understand what you're dealing with. It's just like at the end of, at the end of the day, it's uh, someone who's I wouldn't want to say passionate because I don't want to make it seem like you know we're about to do a little salsa out here. But you you gotta be sure that you know this is what you're into because some people are just like you know I've just got like you know periodic interest in trainers, but you got to follow the culture. You got to be on top of it. You've got to be with you. the infant the latest thing doesn't mean you need to purchase but I think it starts with knowledge mm. style but even more importantly the application of style because a lot of people could get access to certain things but just don't understand it because how many people have I seen like you know would get a pair of Yeezys which are worth nothing like literally retail could be like 180 but then you buy it for 300 because you don't understand the market so people rip you off like you know all of that so being a sneaker head right is someone who's got a good appreciation for you know the trainers they wear but even understand the origins yeah you don't need to understand it too far but you're in it for you know the right reasons and just yeah for me it's just it's kind of hard to express but at the same time it's just something which gives me a lot of joy something which gives me you know a lot of excitement when i speak about it you see and seeing like-minded people are able to speak up by and understand the history of certain things or you know even looking at a pair of trainers and it sets you back to where you were at some point in your life or you know what sort of situation there's multiple stories attached to most of these things they're almost like tattoos and people's some people have got tattoos showing okay this is where i was this is what i've been through for me i'm not going to be drawing any sort of ink on my skin but <laughs> stories behind me they've got like you know it could show your place in my journey yeah, man. Uh, my journey. <laughs> real talk, real talk. You get what I mean? So, uh, yeah, being a sneakerhead is just enthusiastic, being passionate, but always knowing your stuff. Like literally knowing your stuff. If you're a professional in a field, you know your stuff. That's why you go to and you get paid. A lot of people don't get paid, but big man, you're going to be getting a lot of stuff after this. <laughs> but, <laughs> at the same time, it's just being able to articulate effectively. And make people understand the be- beauty that is in the world of footwear and you know just taking people through that journey and not only buying into it but having a good understanding as well and being educated or being able to educate people great answer bro great answer with all that being said big man shags are you a sneakerhead <sighs> of course man <laughs> of course <laughs> it's uh it's uh it goes without saying because yeah sadly uh, i am it's not an addiction if you can afford it <laughs> ain't nothing sad about being a sneakerhead bro you are a sneakerhead 30 sneakerhead <laughs> you got kicked for days bro and right. 
Shegs, I just want to appreciate you. This has been your Kicks Chronicles. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you for your time, your energy, sharing uh, your 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 words of wisdom and your collection with us. Now, people, please, I should say, please tell the millions and millions of people watching this and listening to this around the world. Tell them what you got going on in your life. Tell them how they can support you. Tell them what I got. Uh, you know what? I'm just a regular person anyway. So I've got my nine to five working in the city, you know, doing what I do. But of course, at the same time is, you know, I'm into my trainers as we've evidently found out today. I'm also in my fitness. So that's uh, a bit of a summary of who I am. But I've also got a number of uh, brands and businesses that I'm affiliated with. So one of them is uh, Schizo, uh, which you can see right here on my chest. Schizo, very lovely brand. Uh, look it up schizo worldwide also when it comes to traders you know sneaker uh, sneakers might not be too nice to us adidas you know do nicest every now and again sns and but you know the sneak list s-n-e-a-k-l-y-s-t the sneak list look at look them up on ig and literally this is my family right there if you're looking for any anything of course uh i'm a bit of a stingy one you see but i always try to get things for retail but you know that's the family right there everything and uh socials shegs05 s-h-e-g-g-e-s 05 that's where you find me if you've got any questions anything just to follow literally all you ever see on my ig is trainers quids holiday exercise that's it and family literally that's all i am as simple as things are but yeah in terms of what i got going that's for the office and the nine to five to decide right now but you know when future ventures come through Hopefully in the future, I might come through um, on another one of these videos, you know, on another collab with uh, Big Man Zach. But Lovely. You know, this has been an exciting interview thus far. So. Amazing, bro. So, yeah, man, obviously, you heard, you heard Shegs, man. Make sure you go out and support him with all the things that he's doing. Obviously, this has been an episode of Kicks Chronicles with me, your boy Prozac, um, and the amazing Shegs. Uh, obviously people remember to to like comment share subscribe do all of that good stuff make sure you you know what i'm saying like let's blow this thing up man let's blow this thing up um hit that notification bell as well if you don't mind yeah just so you know when we're uploading you get me just make sure you're you're aware um if you prefer audio uh the the, the show will be available as a podcast an audio only podcast wherever you get your podcast it's gonna be there you get me all the regular places and if it's not there when you go to check for it it will be there so don't worry give it a little bit of time you get me like so make sure you're 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 doing that obviously Shed has told you his socials my socials at Prozac on instagram and twitter um and lastly once again thank you shags for your time big man i really appreciate it from myself prozac we're signing out people stay blessed thank you for listening to this episode of kicks chronicles please make sure to like comment subscribe share rate review and all that good stuff and remember Full video version is available on YouTube, audio versions available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts.